All right. Okay, everybody. Osman Collects here, and this is uh, my little project, which I call Relax and Read, where we um, just chill back, relax, and uh, take a look at some of these some of these comics we have on uh, on on a digital collector's platform called VV. So, oh, we got one viewer. Thank you, one viewer. Oh, I've got some comments too. Who we got in the house? Hey, Doctor. Let's go. Love it. All right, guys. Well, it's Friday. So we you made it. It's the end of the week. Congratulations. So I've got my my trusty Spider-Man glass here, all topped up with my Pepsi Max. And uh, I say cheers. Cheers to the weekend, everyone. Or or cheers to you if you're getting through your Friday. If you're still going through it, you're nearly there. Hang in there. And I hope everyone's having a, had a fantastic week and gonna have a fantastic weekend. So um let's uh let's let's kick this thing off. Hopefully I'm coming through clearly. Everyone can hear me okay. If um if I'm not, so just let me know in the comments. I'll try and do my best to to keep keep looking at the comments. Like I said, this is all live, this is all happening in real time, so anything can happen. I'm still learning as we go, so I'm no professional. I'm just a guy on the internet who just likes to likes to read comic books. <laughs> okay, so let's kick this thing off. So in this episode, we will be reading Amazing Spider-Man number four, which is the first appearance of Silk. Now you're probably wondering who the hell is Silk and why should I care about her? Well, her name is Cindy Moon, and uh, she was apparently bitten by the same same spider that um, bit Peter Parker. And uh, what we'll do, let's try a little something here. So we're gonna, we're gonna share the screen here, and here we go. Now we're going over onto the onto the VV app here. So we're gonna have a look at some of these some of these covers. And you have to bear with me because I don't, I've only got one monitor here, and I can only see one at a time. So if I change that, so this is VV here. So on the covers here, we've got our common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare, and secret rare covers. So the common cover is our is the one that we sort of see all, all over the place. So if that's that's what you're looking for, that's that's them there. And a little bit of info, if I can bring it up. So do 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 do. So the writers are Dan Slot, Slot, Slot. Hope I say this correctly. I do have a tendency to butcher names, so I do apologize. Um, cover artist is Herb, Herberto Ramos. Who's uh, quite well known for his Spider-Man art? I do believe we've got one of his um, ultra rare covers for the uh, Spider-Man number one. That's a Ramos cover. Um, now the cover artist for the rare and ultra rare covers, which are these two right here, very very beautiful, is um, it Israel Silva and Philip Tan. I got to talk very very slowly and read when I say them because I have a tendency to to mess them up. Um. Both of them have plenty of um, works across the platform. And uh, did, 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 sorry, let me just do this from real time. And uh, Philip Tan. Philip Tan, I believe, did the covers for the um, uh, Amazing Spider-Man. I think it's 121. It's the one with the black Spider-Man suit. I could have got that wrong, but look it up. I'm pretty sure he did the, um, the Ultra Air cover for that one. And he also did one of the Ultra Air covers for um, uh, the Craven series, uh, which I think is number four or five. Um, the ultra rare cover, I think, is one of his as, as well. And yeah, so that's that's those covers there. So this is this is this is from my personal collection. I I I am lucky enough to own the ultra rare cover, which uh, which uh, I I do very very like. I love the artwork on it, the coloring, very very cool. Um, also got number two six two, also very cool as well. Very proud of that one. Uh, so let's go over. Let's try something a bit different here. Now I'm going to share this tab instead. This is just a, a little bit of background on Sydney Moon. So Sydney Moon, Earth 616. So teenage years. So let's do a little bit of history. So as a child, of, so it says here, as a child, her parents found out that Cindy had an eidetic memory and her mother wanted her to focus on her studies while Cindy was rather continued. So long story short, she was basically attending the same public ex expedition, ex exhibition, uh, um, that uh, Peter Parker was um, attending, and um, the same spider that bit Peter Parker actually bit Peter, bit Cindy Moon as well before dying. But her first manifestations of her powers happened when she un un <laughs> when her uncontrollable organic webbing accidentally caused her to web up her parents. Okay, so her parents basically came out kind of like in like X Men style. So basically, like they, she just all of, all of a sudden webbed up her parents. And um, yeah, that was the end of it. But then a man by the name of Ezekiel Sims came and took Cindy away. He trained Cindy to use her powers until he realized 
the tomatic predator on Morlan, Morlan was tracking her and he looked her, locked her away in a bunker. And then basically, long story short, Peter, Peter Parker arrested her and that was the end of it. So we'll, there's a little bit there, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to reveal in our, in our story here. So there's another cool little things as well. So if you want to look at any of this information, it's over on the, the Marvel uh, database, the fandom da database, which is a lovely little resource. And uh, yeah, anyway, enough, enough rambling for me about that. Oh, we've got Hinano in the house as well. Says, what up, Oz? Thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks thanks for taking the time out of your day to, 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 to chill with me. So this is uh, Relax and Read, brought to you by the WebV Collective. So I'm um, probably wondering, what is the WebV Collective? It's basically just a group of us that came together to, to form a nice little collectors group where we share our love of um, digital comics, fandom, Marvel, DC, and uh, yeah, just a, a nice little geek out space. And... Uh, yeah, so let's uh let's let's chuck on some music and let's uh let's get into reading this comic. So now all this is quite experimental, but I think I've cracked it because the issue I had before is that I couldn't zoom in on it, so it might look a little bit a little bit funny. But I think I've solved it. So bear with me and let's let's get this on the road. So if I do this, do do do, I want that one. I want to close. Now, this is going to get a little bit funky because I have to share my entire screen for this to work. So bear with me. So I'm just going to bring up my big head for a second just so nobody gets spaced out by the screen. And uh, I'm going to chuck on some music and uh, we'll, we'll get into it. Let's go with... I like this one. Hopefully that's not too loud and everyone can, can still hear me okay and not deafened by the music. Right, oh, let's uh, let's share my screen here and, and get into it. So I need that one. I need that one. Okay, let me just make sure this is going to work. There we go. But now I've got to bring up this screen, which is not working. Bear with me a second. Technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's not right. Oh, maybe it is working. Aha, okay, here we go. So this should go like this. So everyone should be able to see my screen right now. I say everyone, this is still a work in progress, so bear with me. There we go, right, I think we've got it now. There. Okay, so hopefully you can see my screen. Unfortunately, because I'm only working off one monitor, I can't see my face or any comments, so I'm going to jump in and out of it as we go. But um, this is uh, our cover. So we have the Ultra Rare cover, which is Amazing Spider-Man number one, which is from the original Sin series. Now, I'm hoping with the, the wizardry of internet voodoo here, we can try and make this a bit bigger so everyone can see. I'm going, to quit. I'm going to try and flip back and check out the comments from time to time, make sure everyone still can see all right. And now this is this is the kicker. Ready? Watch this. Whee! Here we go. Hopefully that's coming through all right. Got a nice little zoom function so that way we can get right in on the text. Okay, let's kick this off. So we have a Original Sin, Amazing Spider-Man number four, which is the first appearance of Silk. And this is the Ultra Rare cover. So lovely artwork. So it's gonna, it's gonna look good on my my VVverse wall because uh, we have a uh, unofficial, unofficial, unofficial that um, comics will be displayed in showrooms. But uh, yeah, you probably already knew that. So let's uh, let's kick this thing off. All right, I'm just gonna quickly jump back to the comments real quick. Make sure everyone can still see me okay. That looked good. That looked good on the zoom. Excellent. That's what I want to hear. Okay, sorry if this page is going a little bit screwy again. I've got to make sure I do that. So hopefully I can do that and then do this, which is not going to work. That's better. Okay, right. Right, enough screwing around. Let's get into it. Here we go. Look, they've got the zoom fixture. Now we get right up on it. So here it says, 
Years ago, high school student Peter Parker was bitten by a radioactive spider and gained the speed, agility, and proportional strength of a spider, as well as the ability to stick to walls and a spider sense that warned off of imminent danger. After learning that with great power, there was also come great responsibility. He became the crime-fighting superhero, the Amazing Spider-Man. It says, after swapping his brain into Peter's body, one of Spider-Man's greatest enemies, Dr. Octopus, set out to prove himself the superior Spider-Man. He also completed, completed Peter's PhD, fell in love with a woman named Anna Marie Marconi, and started his own company, Parking Industries. But in the end, Doc Ock realized that in order to be a true hero, he had to sacrifice himself and gave control of Peter's body back to Peter. So Peter Parker is back and has a new lease on life and absolutely no idea what what went on while he was gone, including the fact that Electro's powers are out of control and the Black Cat, his one-time friend and lover, now hates him, hates Spider-Man. Whoa, that sounds like a lot to process. Oh, I've got to be careful with my, my zooming function here. Okay, so like I said, we've got the story by Dan Slott, art by Herberto Ramos, and a few other bits and pieces I can't see because my screen won't let me. Wait. Haha, there we go. There we go, now we can see it. Right, so writer is Dan Slott, pencil is Herberto Ramos, Victor Obleza Inca, Inca, and Edgar Delgado Colors. Oh, I recognize a few of those names. Anyway, I'm not going to attempt to read all them because there are a lot of names I can't pronounce. So let's just move on. Just jump back real quick to the comment screen. Make sure no one's saying something I can't see. Right. Uh, it's 23 pages this comic, by the way. So we're up to page three. Right. We're at Parker Industries over on Pier 64. And let me see if I can zoom that in by one. Let's make it a bit clearer. That's better. All right, people, here we go. Anti-electro netting test number one. Ready, Percy? Yes, Mr. Parker. Let her rip. So this is Peter Parker and his company. We're at half power. The netting is holding. Anything we can do to re recreate actual conditions sir would it help Hang on. I might have turned that zoom function off otherwise I can't see the whole screen that's better there we are sir would it help if I said die spider-man die not really Percy but points for initiative says Peter let's try that again and this time increase the power to beep 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 goes Here's a little Avengers phone. Oh, one second. Yes, Peter, what is it? And page four. Just check the comments. Oh, music. Music level is perfect. Excellent. Good, good. Good feedback. All right, good. Making progress. That's what it's all about. All right. Everything's looking good. All green lights. Let's, uh, let's read on. And over here, this is a Spider-Man thing. Yeah, the Avengers are calling and everybody is a Code Omega. Well, that doesn't sound good. A kiss the world goodbye scenario. Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because they want me. They're good, old reliable Spidey. Back when Doc Ock took over my body, he burnt a lot of bridges with all of my super friends, says Peter. But they sent, but they sent out the call. They want me watching their backs. I gotta go, says Peter. Peter, you can't keep doing this. You're running a company now. Let someone else fill it in for you. Right, like anyone else could do what Spider-Man does. <laughs> Please. Marcone, you seen Spider? Hey, Sanji, he's out. But there's a really good see reason this time, you'll see. No, I'm done with his excuses. I don't even care if... Ooh, if care if... So was the if. Page five. Whoa, check this out. The big battle scene. All sorts of hell's breaking loose. It's the end of the world. Whoa, these mindless ones, they're everywhere. What should we do? Says um Ah, uh, what's his name? Ryder. Guardian. 
guy from space. I can't remember his name. You have to remind me. Thing, Falcon, Kitty Pride, good to see you. It's me, Spidey, not Doc Holt. Spidey. What are you on about? Just that my brain's back in my body. If you could pass that along to the other X-Men, that would be great, he says to Kitty. Hulk, Wolvie, don't don't know if you heard, but I got mind swapped with Kid, shut up. Now's not the time, says Wolverine. The guys were fighting there, murdered the watchers, gouged out his eyes, and stole his tech. You know what that stuff could do in the wrong hands, says Wolverine. The watcher the Oh man, I didn't know. How I feel like a jerk. What can I do? says Spider Man. We're working on it, Webs. One of those crumb crumbs is down. Now we've got to find out who's who. Put the eye down. I'll oh, put the eye down and step away, says a mysterious voice. Whoa, it's a creepy dude with an eye. This isn't an eye. Not anymore. It's a bomb, says the guy with a big eye on his head. I'm not sure who he is. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments. A bomb full of secrets. And what do bombs do? <laughs> what do they do? They go tick, tick, tick. They go boom. So many pretty little secrets. All now out in the wild. This will be fun to watch, says the mysterious guy. That, that was one of the Watcher's eyes. But the Watcher sees everything. Uh-oh. Everyone's going nuts with Watcher visions. What can they see? Ah, oh, millions of secrets. Things that were kept from me. Falling, filling my head all at once. Look at this. Hulk's getting affected. Luke Cage is getting affected. Thor's down. Spidey's getting his, his noggin all, all not all violated. <laughs> I can think of some other words, but I probably can't say it over a live stream. Oh, just checking them comments. Alright, let's move let's read on and see what's going on. Now oh, Spider-Man's in a little little vision vision quest coma thing. He's seeing all sorts of things. It says the spider, after it bit me, it bit someone else, a girl. I never knew who she who she is. I never knew who she who who is she? Oh, I never knew. Who is she? Cindy. Mom, Dad, I can't control it, says Cindy. Mr. and Mrs. Moon, I can help. I am familiar with such things. My name is Ezekiel. You're making great excellent progress, says Ezekiel. Perhaps even too fast. As I, as I fear, says Ezekiel. We don't have a choice. You must stay inside until we know for sure. So he locks her in the bunker because he fears for her safety because someone's out to get her. Who could it be? Let's read on. Tell you what, I might just quickly switch up my music a little bit. Let's do this one. Oh, that sounds nice. Let's do that. Right, let's read on. So everyone's just recovering from their little, little uh, bane brashing, bane brain bashing. That's better. From the uh, from the watches, I I bomb. Spider-Man's looking around saying, what just happened? Was I the only one who saw? Oh, I saw... Uh, I, who, who saw? I, I don't know. I can't stay here, says Spider-Man. That girl, all this time, she's been... Another flash. Something... Something that happened after Spider Island. Madam Web, she told me. If you if you want, you can stop the web. will will reveal itself and another Spider-Man will take your place. Ooh, this sounds awfully uh, Yoda-ish, very cryptic. She was the one Madame Webb meant. That girl, Cindy Moon. She could have replaced me ages ago. Right now, you didn't know about it, but now you do. Right, Spider-Man's jumping around all over the place. I think he's found the bunker. She's here. I can feel it in Ezekiel's, in Ezekiel's old building. This is where he sealed her in the same place where he was going to do the same thing to me. Ooh. Ah, uh, it says here. That's a rule. There we go. That's probably a bit too much. Way back in Amazing Spider-Man coming home. Knowledgeable, knowledgeable kink. 
That must be when it happened. Had a bunker for me up on the top floor, says Spider-Man. Said he had it made years before he knew I was Spider-Man. Ha! Liar, says Spider-Man as he kicks in the door. This means Ezekiel knew from day one, always knew about both of us. And he has going and he was going to keep us in cages. Me up top and you all the way down below. Look at this place, deserted. No one else has been been down here for months as he goes through the uh, the bunker. Was he ever going to let you go? How many lies does Ezekiel Sims tell us? Hello, Peter, says Ezekiel on a creepy-looking monitor as he walks in. What? says Peter. Don't be alarmed. This is an automated message. If you're hearing this, it means sensors have detected that you're here and that you've come alone. But what's truly inoperable? Imo- truly inoperable. That's a, that's a deep word. Let's read on. Check my comment. Check back on my comments. Oh, D says, "Let's go!" I got you in my background. Excellent. Thanks, D. Thanks for jumping in. Hopefully, everyone's enjoying it so far. I know I am. I, I really enjoy reading these. It also gives me a great excuse to read my comics too. And let's read on. We're up to page page ten. This means that you have survived Morlan's attack. And I haven't. If that's the case, there's something you should know. You are not alone. There's another like you, a spider. And there's a reason I've kept this from you, Peter. Thwack. I'm done listening to you, says Peter, as he threw something sharp at the TV screen like an angry toddler. Hello, someone out there? Cindy, Cindy Moon, can you hear me? It's Spider-Man. What? For real? It's you, says Cindy? Yeah, and I'm here to get you out. No one should have to live like this. I was about to bust her out of the bunker. Don't ask me how, but I know the code. Of course he does. Don't, don't you, can't, didn't they tell you what would happen? If you open that door, Morlan will come. And you're wondering, who's Morlan? Yeah, I've heard the name, but I don't know who Morlan is either. And if you know, write in the comments. <laughs> tell me, let me know. All right, he's about to bust open the bunker and rescue her. Let's see what happens. What's her response going to be? Beep, 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 boop, 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 beep, beep. As he puts in the, the magic code, which he just so happens to know. Convenient. As the door opens, Cindy staggers out like she's just been on, on a night bender. Yeah, they told me the same thing. But don't worry. You've been in there a while. There's something there's something no one's told you. Do you know what you've done, says Cindy? You idiots, you've killed us all! And she lunges for him. Looks like she's trying to give him a hug. I don't think it, I don't think it's gonna be a hug. Look out, Spider-Man, she's coming for you. Oh, meanwhile, in the far, far away land, a shadowy figure gets out of bed gazing over the fire and he says what was that as he sniffs like wolverine but not wolverine the spider bride there you are the spinner at the center of the web it's time the great hunt begins from this moment on Ooh, very dark and nefarious i'm guessing that's our big bad guy no surprise And we jump back to Cindy and Spider-Man having a row. Let all hell break loose. Morlin knows he'll devour every last one of us. Gorge himself on all our brothers and sisters. Wow, she's everywhere, says Spider-Man. Her spider speed has mine beat. Okay, two things. One, I'm an only child. And two... There's something you really need to hear about Morlin. Think I got the edge on her in the spider strength department. Gah, says Cindy. So she's quicker than him, but he might be stronger. So right now it's a, it's a pretty tight battle. Why should I listen to anything you have to say, says Cindy. 
Damn, but her spider sense, not even a contest. That's Matrix bullet time. <laughs> so she's got the Matrix action going on there. She's she's dodged all all Spider Man's little web web bullets. He's gone forever, says Spider Man. What? Morlin, dead, Cindy. For real? Cross my spider heart, says has says Spider Man. Well, clearly he ain't dead because someone just said, let the let the hunt begin. So he ain't dead, or there's a version of him that ain't dead. Who knows? Either way, they're in they're in a lot of trouble. So Morlin's dead, says Cindy, and I'm I'm free. Yep, good to go, says Spider Man. I'm free, says says Cindy. Outside, sky, cloud, sun, hot food on a stick. Hello, New York, says Cindy, as she's stuck to the wall, and jumping around like like she's just won the lottery. Well, there, not not bounding around with spider powers in your guys. You need you need to have a mask. So they're saying you can't just go running around sticking the walls. You're gonna freak people out. You gotta be in disguise like he is. All oh, right, superhero suit got that covered and all of a sudden she starts spinning webs out of her fingers oh i'm going to the next page all right to page 15 just do a quick quick duck over the comments whoa we've got tons of comments same just cooking <laughs> dr strange the same just cooking dinner and listening it's awesome thank you thank you very much what up from the bay area got giri singh Getting ready to go to work. Giri says, getting ready to go to work. Eight minute bike bike right away. But before that, I need to prepare and pack some comics. I like it. Good stuff. You know, it says Cindy Moon is badass. Sorry, guys. I'm just taking two seconds just to read, on some com- read up on the comments. Hopefully, it's not screwing with the screen too much. All right. Wicked. Oh, I'm, I'm happy everyone's enjoying the content. So uh, let's uh, let's read on. So if you just join us, Cindy's just spinning up her, her suit. She's getting ready to rock and roll. Hey, how'd you do that? Says Spider-Man. She's zipping around. Just, zap, just wrapping herself up in all this web. Practice. Practice costume on the go. You like? You like my new costume? She says. When I think of the money I could have saved on spider, Spidey suits over the years. Ta-da! How do you like my, spy, how do you like my threads? Cindy, there. Um, not what I'm webbed up when I'm like this. Call me. Oh, yeah, zoom right in on this. It says silk. Dun dun dun. And there she is, all webbed up in her silk silk. Her silk silk. Sil- ah, I can't say it. Silk suit. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. All right, she's all wrapped up and ready to roll. Page 16, she's out. She's into the wilderness. Enough already. Let's go, says Cindy. Wow, I almost forgot how big it is. Just look at it all. Come on. Cindy, Silk, slow down, says Spider-Man. Seeing you do this a zillion times, and I've always wanted to try it, said Silk. So she's all over the shop. She's getting all excited. Oh, next page. There we go. That was kind of a double page. Actually, hang on. If I do, ah, there we go. That's, that, that works a bit better as a double page, I reckon. There we go. Always wanted to try it. So there you go. She's she's spinning around. Oh, and there it is. This is the uh, this is the interior panel from the uh, for our secret rare cover. She's uh, sw- swinging around just like Spider Man. Look at that sweet. She says, "Yeah, it's a hoot and a half." Now, why don't we bring it in and have a chat? And figure out where to where we go from here. Next, oh, I know exactly where I'm going," says Cindy. "Wait," says Spider Man. "Great. Now I'm losing her. No way I can keep up. I've left. I've let her loose, and she has no clue as to how the world's changed." Oh yeah, so she's she's running around, getting all excited of the world, but she doesn't know the world's world's become a, a different place since she's been locked up. She's been locked up for a long time. So let's read on and see what happens. Meanwhile, page 18. Meanwhile, Black Cat's sneaking around doing what Black Cat does. Or what dangers are out there. And he, and if he somehow busts the lock, the lock swoosh, 
He's covered head to toe in ele electric suppressing gel. Great plan. One floor though. How does he breathe? Pretty sure Parker wants Electro to keep breathing. Uh, click, click. So Black Cat's looking around Parker Industries, trying to get some intel on what he's up to. She's snapping some photos like a spy that she is. Let's see what she's up to. Click, click. Won't be long, says Black Cat. Soon I'll have pics of all their plans. For all the good it will do me. I'm no tech expert. What I really need to steal from here is someone who can tell me how it all works. Parker, it's Sanjay. This is my last message. I'm done putting up with your disappearing acts, says his scientist. Let's see how well you deal with everything when I'm suddenly not there. Who that? She says. Oh no, she's been stabbed by Black Cat. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't have timed that better if I tried. Lucky me, says Black Cat. So she's got a scientist. She's got the dirt on what's going on, Park Industries, and see what she, see where we go from here. Page nineteen, nearly there, everyone, nearly the end. So Cindy's flying around. Oh, Spider Man's trying to find her. I can't explain it, says Spider Man, but my spider senses have led me here, drawing me towards her. It's not supposed to work that way. It's always steered me away from danger. But his spider senses are pulling to pulling him towards her. Hmm, interesting. Never towards someone or something or someone. Silk, what is this place, says Spider-Man. It's my home. But that's not my family, says Silk, looking into the window. Oh, she's getting all sad and teary-eyed. They're, they're not, they've moved. I have no idea where they are. If they're even still alive. I... Cindy says Spider-Man, looking over, trying to comfort her. So her parents all moved away. And all because of a spider bite, says Cindy. It changed me, it took years off of my life. And now my family. You wouldn't understand. No, oh, you'd be surprised, says Peter. Don't worry, if, if they're out there, we'll find them, I promise. I have to know, how long ago did it happen? What? It's going to eat you, going to eat at me until you tell me. When could I have left that stupid bunker? When exactly did Morn die? Exactly? Well, that's tricky, he says. Well, the first time I lured him into a... Wait, she says with an angry looking face, like he's just, just kicked, kicked her dog or something. What do you mean the first time? I've gone up against him twice. He's died both times. Like like I was saying, the first time. Oh, she's getting all angry at him, saying like, Spider-Man, you've messed up. You've done something wrong here. Twice, smack! Slaps Spider-Man across the face with her pimp hand strong. You moron! Oh, that was lightning fast. Nothing I could do to avoid it, thought Spider-Man. Why did you hit me? It means he can come back, says Cindy. He could be out there somewhere right now. Well, when you put it like that, you're joking. How dare you? It's it's kind of my thing. Well, she's trying to web him up. He's running all over the place. All my sacrifice locked away for most of my life, and you just made it all for nothing. Her web, the tips barbed. Like a fish hook in my back. How'd she do that? Well, she's shoot, she's shooting like little little harpoon webs. One's got Spider-Man in the back, and now he ain't going nowhere. We're all in danger now, says Cindy. Oh, page twenty-two. Can't you feel it? She she's right. Spider sense is out of control now. It's pounding, screaming. Not just in my head, racing through my veins. Never felt like this before. Y yes, Spider-Man does. Oh. And they kiss and they embrace on top. So, yeah, bit of a bit of uh, animal magnetism going on there. They're, uh, they're, they're having, a, having a, a very passionate moment. To be continued. And what's on page 20? Oh, page 23 is intentionally blank. 
and uh that's that's it ladies and gentlemen i think that's the end of our comic so let me just uh go back to my screen here let me stop sharing this so don't go all screwy there we go oh yeah uh, you know this is cliffhanger it's like bum 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 hopefully we'll get some more uh we'll get uh, some more comics on the, on the app and maybe we'll, we'll, we'll find out i was looking back on some of the comments here unfortunately i've only got one screen so when i when i share these two screens i can only see one so i miss out on the comments when you write them so let's have a look delilah oh chico Ruku. good point i almost forgot about that sorry guys just having a brief uh intermission here Woo! yeah i got my chico Ruku. what i get vintage rage folklore heritage Ooh, cool Actually, I wonder if I can share that. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me add that to the stream. Hang on, let's stop sharing. Okay, present. So I got a little off topic here, guys. What I get? Hey, here we go. This is what I got. Hopefully, everyone scored their Chico Roco. Very, very cool. Ooh, I like it. Hang on. Ah, oh, wait. Let me do it. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, well, congratulations! To anybody who got one. Look. So yeah, that was um that was relax and read with uh with me Osman Collect sixty three. That was uh, us reading the Amazing Spider Man number four, the FA of Silk, uh, which is available on uh, the VV digital uh, platform. Actually, tell you what, let's do a let's do a quick little bit of market watch and find out what it's going for now. So if you want to pick one up for yourself, let's see if I can find it. Do, do 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 hopefully that's working i can't tell because my i've got one screen oh and says i got mint six eight six eight six nice is that the uh is that the common the uncommon the rare what you got you might want to remove my comments can't see your face oh that's better sorry still learning as you go so it's all all learning it's all, all a work in progress now as i was trying to do i want to share my that one that one now i wonder if that one if i go market do, 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 do. actually you know, let's do that If we can't do a little bit quick, we'll be mark watch now. Always say try and do it this way. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone likes the music too. So I always try and put on like a bit of chill music so we can all just uh, relax and kick back. Right, so I think I've got it. So that one, that one. Ah. Okay, let's have a look here. So our common cover is sitting at do, 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 three gems and fifty frags. So very, very affordable if you're just going for the common. And if we're going for something a bit more, let's, let's get the ultra rare. Uh, so not the ultra rare, the secret rare. And the secret fire, secret rare is currently going at 135 gems on the floor. And of course, my favourite, the ultra rare. On the floor is going for 28 gems so not too bad but i picked i picked mine up a while back so i've got mint number 282 which i thought was a very very nice mint anyway let me uh get rid of that oh yeah we got that coming up too we got the the loki miss minutes drop very very cool i uh, yeah. You know, this is I got the same same issue. Ordered a small cheap screen off Amazon, so I don't need to keep switching screens. I know I'm the same same boat. I'm, I'm considering getting either a small screen or maybe like another laptop or something. Just anything that projects projects screens. Uh, so yeah, so I might start wrapping this up shortly because I I am due to, to jump on another live stream soon with uh with Doctor Strange. So um, stay stay tuned for that, or it could be a recording. I'm not sure yet. Either way, stay tuned for that um yeah this is um hopefully you've enjoyed the content everyone's uh 
um, at, a, at a good time, enjoying, enjoying reading this comic with me. It's the first time I've read it, so I, I, haven't, I haven't touched it since now. Uh, hopefully, they did a good job. So, I, I do enjoy, uh, I do enjoy doing these. gives me a chance, gives me a, a, an excuse to read my own comics because I know a lot of you are like me, where you buy all these fantastic comics just to, so you can display them in your showroom. But I bet you most of them don't don't actually read them. And yeah, just thought it was just something fun, just something, just uh, yeah, something something new to try. Not, not many people are doing this. Um, so yeah, so I'm 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 going to leave it at that. So if you did um, enjoy the content, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, any all feedback is appreciated. It helps me um, uh, grow grow this little little segment of, uh, of the Web V Collective and helps me improve on the uh, on the production quality. Uh, if there's anything you want me to read, say any any, any reading suggestions, throw them up there. Uh, well, yeah. Tell actually, I'll, I'll put it up there. Tell tell me what you hear, you want to hear next. So I've I've got a long list of comics in my collection I can choose from, but I want to know what you you, you want to hear. If so, I'm going to start signing off now. Before I go, just a, a quick reminder that um we do also do um uh, Web V Wednesdays and Web V Weekends in the uh, in the X Spaces or the, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, Web V Wednesdays is eight till ten p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Ooh, X Men number forty. Let me bring that kind up. X Men number f- one four one or one four two. That is the Days of Future Past. If I remember right. Mayday. May. Oh, that's a uh, what if comic. Mayday. P- Peter Parker's girl. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Maybe some more Spider Man comics. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll write that down. I'll make a list. Maybe we'll do um, F A R Mary J Parker. Or maybe we'll. We'll do that one. X Men forty one and forty two. That's uh, I'm pretty sure that's Days of Future's Past or the the future one. But yeah, as I was saying, um, yeah, we also do um, Webby Wednesdays, which is eight to ten Pacific Standard Time on Twitter Spaces or for, or X, formerly known as Twitter. And uh, we also do Webby Weekends uh, on Sundays from twelve thirty p.m. till two thirty p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, that's on Sunday afternoons. And uh, now we've also got this uh, this lovely little thing, which is relax and read, which I try and do free, try and going to try and do regularly on uh, Fridays Friday nights, which is um, eight. So it must be about I'm not sure what time it is, but it's eight about eight thirty eight thirty here in the UK in the England, which is where I'm based. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap her up there. So uh, again, this has uh, been Relax and Read, brought to you by the Webby Collective. Um, I've been your 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 narrate your narrator, um, Osman Collects, uh, sixty three. I'm starting to go just by Osman Collects because that just seems to be a little bit shorter. Sixty three was there for a reason, but um, it's yeah, it just seems to be a, it's just a number now. Um, but yeah, um, follow me on Twitter or follow me known or X follow me known as Twitter, and uh, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick back, relax for a little bit, and then get ready to jump on another stream. Um, hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your week or rest of your Friday, wherever you might be, and has a fantastic weekend. I hope you're doing something awesome. I'm gonna be trying to get down to my local comic book shop with my son, try and pick up some comics, and uh, maybe check hit a, hit a game arcade or two. Maybe play some pinball. Maybe play some double dragon or some street fighter. And um, yeah, just gonna have a try and have a nice chill weekend. And I hope you do the same. So again, this is me again. Osman Collect 63. Relax, relax and read. Brought to you by the Webby Collective. Wishing you a fantastic weekend. Alright, take care everybody. And uh, I'll see you later. Have a good one.